We board a bus. After living on the road for the last two years and living out of our full driving rooftop tent, we decided we wanted something a bit more comfy, so we bought a bus. Yeah, 2001 Toyota Coaster. And it's actually a Japanese import with a 1HD mm. FTE motor in it, yeah. which is just bloody crazy because... She's a bit of a unicorn, hey? Yeah, one of the best engines ever made, in mm. our opinion. And yeah. um, they never actually came out in coasters in Australia. Mm. So we're stoked with this one. Yeah. And, um, beautiful. and only 42,000 Ks as well. Yeah. So. so we were looking on Facebook Marketplace on and off for the last year. Just We always knew we wanted something a bit more comfy, yeah. but we Just weren't... Just dreaming, really. <laughs> yeah, we weren't desperate to buy a bus. But, yeah, we just... We yeah, saw it come up. This one popped up, and it was too good not to jump on it. Yeah. Uh, we bought it off an old guy, and he had dreams of fitting it out with his partner. And converting it into their little tiny home on wheels but I think the project just got a bit too much for him yeah so we we're just lucky enough to stumble across it and for the condition she's in and the price range we just oh yeah we're just so stoked especially kilometers the color yeah. bloody beige so we're, we're stoked yeah. with that. <laughs> especially in this climate coast has just gone through the roof yeah so. We are lucky to get her for $45,000. Yeah, which we think is just... Incredible. Yeah, for, for this, for the value, yeah. Yeah. Great right. value. But, um, mm. but, yeah, so we're going to fit it out as well. We'll do a full fit out of bed, kitchen, bathroom, lounge, yeah. the whole lot. Yeah. But, um, and we're going to document the whole thing on YouTube to show yeah. you guys. None of us have a trade behind us, but Liam does have experience on the tools and he has worked in construction, so he has a clue or two. Yeah, we're no cabinet makers, but... Yeah. We're going to get our hands dirty and give it a red hot crack. And There's going to be a lot of highs and lows, yeah. but gonna we're learn a few things. so excited for the challenge and to yeah. get started. That's it. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, we just wanted something a bit more um, comfy, considering we live on the road full time yeah. now, we work on the road. It'll be a, pretty much a home on wheels slash office on mm -hmm. wheels. So The plan for yeah. us is to like use it as a home base in between overseas travels. So mm. we'll go overseas for a few months, come back and live in the bus for a few months, keep yeah. travelling and just... Do another lap of Australia. <laughs> or two. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's just a whole lot of travel and work on coming up for us. Yeah. But so, um, yeah, mm. we're going to get stuck into this build and yeah. show you guys how it's done and also probably how not to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Learn from it. Um, yeah, stay tuned, eh? <laughs> yeah. Probably the first day of our bus build. That was a pretty shit job, but the heaters are out. One and two. So there's the three holes from the heater. I've just ripped both of them out. At the moment, the hoses are just kind of tied up, just sitting there. Anyway, the plan is now. That's, that's the compressor gearbox right here. So I'm gonna cut these two hoses here and use two of the metal um, pipes and further down, put them there kind of thing. And then I'm gonna loop another piece of pipe around like that. I've got a curve on already so it shouldn't kink too much. And then um, 
yeah, so it can circulate from the sender back into the return. And then hopefully, happy days. Then I'll have to top the coolant up, and then yeah, we'll be good to go. All right, so that's the piece here I'm actually gonna to use to loop back. It's just a bit from the old um, heater further down the back of the bus. These are the metal hoses from a bit further down too. And um, yeah, so I pretty much just put it together and that's gonna be the return and the, and the sender. So I'm just loop it back around and keep the coolant circulating. So, see how it goes, eh? It doesn't kink, so it should be all right. Ready. Yeah. So that's the finished product there. That bracket holds onto the chassis. And yeah, it doesn't leak or anything, so happy days. All right, so I just finished sorting out this workbench. We've got all our tools now, really easy to access. Now we can actually start working on the bus. Now this is our new project manager, Wilson. Today we're pretty much just getting rid of stuff so we can make it a bit easier to start fitting out. Um, we're going to get rid of things like this um, hand railing, the auto door because it just takes up too much room. Uh, we're going to fill in these holes and everything from the old heaters, seal them up. And then we're going to get rid of this roof insulation as well because we're going to actually put some, something a bit better in here. Um, and then other than that, we're going to, the side of our probably get under the car. We want to fish oil everything up to, so I can prevent rust. And then if we can get all that done today, then hopefully we can rip in tomorrow. Start getting this project done. First thing. So we've done most of the insulation just by hand. It's obviously very hard because of the glue. It's the most tedious job. Mm -hmm. But yeah. um annoying. Yeah, and like we can't really use a scraper or a wire brush or anything because the because this is such a new vehicle, the paint is just immaculate under here. So we just mm -hmm. don't wanna wanna bother scratching it or anything. So we need to get it pretty smooth for the sand ending we're putting in, but um we're just gonna just try our best with our hands and try get the majority of it off. So I'm just filling up all the holes from all the seats and then I'm going to fill up the holes from the heaters. It's just uh, like a sicker flex it's called high strength structural wet adhesive sealant. It's got a bus on the front so. <laughs> Quick little smoko. What do you think? About the chicken nuggets or the yeah, bus? <laughs> chicken nuggets. They're pretty shit. Alright, so before we get under the bus and um, start fish oiling it, I'm gonna get under there with a wire brush and um, scrape away any surface rust or anything. Even though it's a, um, a pretty mint vehicle, it's still 22 years old and it's only got 40,000 Ks on it. So that means it must have probably been sitting in a yard for a fair few years and over over time it's just got a bit of oxidization and surface rust under there so i'm gonna go scrape everything off everything that i can see then we'll give it a good wash hose underneath and then um and then when that dries i'll we'll get under there the fish oil and spray everything and that will just make like a bit of a protective layer to prevent any more rust from happening <laughs> so we're just gonna get rid of these um the, the wiring from the speakers and the lights, because we're not gonna need those anymore. It's just they just go to the starter battery, so take all those out and then we're gonna have to run new wiring for the down lights that's gonna be connected to our dual battery. Alright, so this is where we got to with the roof. It's just a bit of wool and the glue stuff, but we couldn't get it off anymore and we didn't want to ruin the paint, so this is about as good as it's gonna get. And yeah, now we're just gonna move on to sound deadening. Cut these out to put underneath the heater holes. 
put them up. Alright, now that we've finished fully stripping out the bus, giving it a good clean and pulling down all the wires and filling in all those holes, we're finally ready to move on to the next stage of our build. Yeah, and start fitting it out. Yeah, we just got a pretty important package um, from car builders. Yeah. So, Super exciting. Yeah, that's going to be the next stage of the build. So that's sound deadening and insulating Very important the whole part thing. Of the build, yeah, right? exactly. You can only do it once at the start. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to do it now, do it right. Get it done. Yeah, so we'll probably get into that yeah. probably tomorrow. And then, then, then we're yeah. going to go through our setup and how we plan to lay out our fit out. Yeah, we're going to finalise our design and yeah. yeah, so we can start putting it together. But yeah, that will be for another episode, won't it? Yeah. Yeah, so anyway, thanks for watching our first episode of our <laughs> bus build series. Yeah. And um, yeah, see you in the next one. See ya.